Hi everyone, welcome to Budget Plan With Me video. This is Elise, and if this is your first time here, welcome, and if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something in my budget planner that I saw someone on Facebook in the Happy Planner Budget Group, Tiffany Lynn Davis, did this for her same mini budget planner, and I found it to be so helpful. So, let's see here. Okay, I have my August monthly. So in this undated planner, there are these weekly expense pages. And I've never, I tried them out once or twice. I haven't really found a good use for them because I don't really track my spending in categories like that. And Tiffany shared a great way to utilize these pages, but in the same budgeting method I do, which is budget by paycheck, which means that every dollar of your paycheck has a place where it's supposed to go. And so right now, pull this sheet out because I need it. Right now, I just put it on a sheet here that I divide up each of uh, my paychecks, but I'm going to use it for, I'm going to redo these pages a little bit so that I can use it this way. So I can keep it just in my budget planner and I don't have to have it as a separate page here. So let me move this out of the way. Now, first up, I'm using the budget sticker book, and this is the undated budget planner. Uh, I have links to both of these in the description of this video. So, okay, first up, I want to cover up this date, category, amount, need, want area. And I'm going to use this. Let me take this off the desks. Okay. Perfect. And then I just had my scissors. Oh, here we go. Okay, so that's covered up and I'm going to save this because I'll probably want to use more in another week. And now I'd like a sticker to cover up weekly. Maybe I can instead put one there that says, if I can cover the whole thing, I'll do that. Otherwise I may, let's see. Maybe I can use these. No, they're not really, they seem to be a little bit too big. So I'm going to pull out Colorful Boxes sticker book. And this one is the monthly sticker book. And then let me just choose a color that goes along. Maybe there's a pink. These colors are a little bit too bright for this. Let's see. Blue, I can use the teal. I think that teal, it's a little bit too dark, but let's see, let's try the other teal. All right, that matches nicely. And I think I wanna cover this whole one. What I'm trying to do is figure out, hmm. I guess I don't really need a sticker to go here because this week of kind of solves that issue. So maybe I'll find a sticker just to cover up that space. And I don't like do your best. Okay, need another plan there. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else if there's anything in here maybe I can use otherwise I'm just gonna have to cover it up with sticker paper I think like white sticker paper I think that may be best for this situation so let me pull out the proper sticker paper for this okay I have my Avery True block, as always. And 
I did also just add these to my Amazon storefront, which is in the description of this video. Also, if you purchase using my link, I'll make a very teeny tiny commission on it, um, but I uh, every bit helps, so I would love if you do purchase if you use the link. And that's the same with the Happy Planner links below also. Okay, let me just cut this off. I do have smaller labels from Avery too, but they're not true blocks, so you can usually see what's underneath them. Okay, put that aside. All right, now, the week of, so I'm going to start it now. Let me grab this pen. I'm using my Sharpie S gel pen, and this will be the week of August 3rd. Because I get paid on Mondays, so I'm writing my payment, uh, payday, payday date there. <laughs> okay, now. I'm still out of whiteout correction tape, so I'm going to just use this jelly roll to cover these up. It's easy to write on once it dries, and then uh, you won't be able to really see underneath it once I write over it. As I'm starting to do this, I'm realizing another way that I could kind of amend what I saw to make it work for me. So I think I'm still going to use these this top line as headers um, because I don't want to use the same ones here. So I'm going to keep those covered up. But let me think for a second out loud. So. I think it'll be date, even though I know these are August 3rd, sometimes other payments come in so I can always adjust it if it happened in that week. So it'll be date, category, amount, and then transfer or withdraw. So I'll explain those in a second. I think that top one is almost dry. Okay, so date. amount hmm okay transfer and withdraw won't fully work because I really need transfer and pay transfer withdraw and pay so I kind of need three hi everyone I know this video just transitions but um if you, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I had lost power while I was filming this. So we are now two days later, the power has returned, and I am able to continue. I was also able to kind of think about this a little bit more in the meantime and decide exactly how I can edit this page to make it work perfectly for my needs. So what I just did is I cut out a little bit of the Avery paper again. And I'm going to cover up this TW. And I know that it seems like I'm doing a lot of work to make this page work for me, but I wasn't really using the pages. So now, even though it's a lot of work, I should be able to use them to fit my needs and my budget. Okay. So I'm going to cover up that TW, and I'm going to write TWP. And the reason is because I'll either transfer the money into a separate account, withdraw it so I have the cash, or pay it if a bill is due. So I'm just going to put a check mark here so that I can mark, I can check that when I'm done. And then for this one right here, um, I guess I'll just write 
um, I'm gonna write category, I guess. And as you can see, I can just write really easily over that white jelly roll. So this is all for August 3rd. Let me just underline these. Now at this point, August 3rd has passed. So I guess I could just write August 3rd for all of these, although maybe one of them I'll adjust for pay, for paying, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna write down my bills. This is kind of a work in progress and a think with me as I plan. My health insurance. I am planning on sharing more about how I do this budgeting by paycheck. I'm just trying to come up with the right way to do it. Okay, so there are my bills. I still have more bills to write at the bottom. This is saving for my niece's birthday. Now we have my retirement. Uh, savings, this is my general savings. Spending. Miscellaneous, I start each month out with a miscellaneous budget. If you hear a little bit of noise outside, we have uh, landscapers here trying to remove our tree that fell down from the storm. Hulu and planning. Planning is just putting a line item in my budget for um, if, some, if a new product comes out that I'd really like or something, it's just important that I have that in my budget so that I'm not messing with other areas. And I'm just going to write down these. And again, I have a sheet here that I've already done this on. Um, and I'm going to talk about that eventually. But for right now, I'm just moving the these over. 200. Savings. I'm just gonna do 130. 75. Hulu 3, planning 25. Okay, now before I get questions about this, I'm just going to say my Honda is not $77. My Geico is not $53. I put aside a certain amount from every paycheck towards paying my bills. So that for Honda, for example, um, I have let's see, four weeks. So my Honda, today's August 3rd, or this date, this paycheck is August 3rd. My Honda is due August 25th, which means I have four paydays to put aside $77. So these are all going, let's see, these are going to be transfer, transfer, transfer. These are still gonna be transfer. This is withdraw. So for right now, these are all in my other, my secondary account, except for the spending, which I withdrew. If there was a pay, if there was a bill due, so if Honda was due, I would, I would have written P here for pay, and I would have written the date in which it was paid. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for these other pages for every week that I have in August, but I kind of wanted to show you how I was setting these up based on um, that Facebook post. So thank you for joining me and thank you for your patience with this video, even though I guess you don't really know that there was a lapse, but I hope uh, everyone has a great day and I'll see you next time.